that is your choice because there's no foreign and different place for us. That's where you are. How's it going, everybody? My name is Rayon the Gamer. Welcome to episode two of Spelunky, and it is time to descend. And in this video, I'm going to try to play until. I find a suitable place to end the video instead of having it stop when my PVR decides to stop recording. And this is going to be the third time I've tried to record episode 2 because of my my recording issues. And uh, I've done a whole bunch of things to try to get all this sorted out. Like um, updated some drivers for the Hophog device and doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, tried to fix some settings in the capture device software, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so far that doesn't seem to be doing much. So uh, I don't really know what to do. It's just, um, I mean, it could just be a, a broken device. It could be just a bad device, which is kind of what I'm leading towards. But um, yeah, it's just such a letdown. Don't know if I needed to use a rope there. Oh, I didn't trigger that arrow trap. And don't die on the spikes. That's how the last recording that I tried to do went. Um, yeah, I just don't, I don't know what to do. If, um, if it continues to, to fail, then I don't know, I might have to buy something different which I really don't want to do because I want to save money for the, the next gen consoles and be able to buy some games right off the bat. And, uh, if I have to buy a new recording device, I will. That was bad. Uh, I just don't know what to buy. I don't know if you can record PS3 with an Elgato, but you probably can. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. I guess I'm only thinking that because HDMI, I don't think recording works with the HDMI though. I don't know. Well, um, that's an option if it works. And I guess, um, I mean, there aren't too, too many. Wow, I got no money. But I guess there aren't really too many other options. I guess something else that I could do with this would be to lower the bit rate. I have it at maximum bitrate, just so it has a, a smooth recording. I could I could bump that down a tad, but I've already bumped down to 720p, and I just uh, don't know what to do at this point. I'm gonna use a rope. Oh, that was probably a bad place to do it. Cause uh, I kind of want to get back up this way. I need to jump up here to get our damsel. And uh, there's a lot of stuff I have to manage here because I need to get the Ujadai. Oh wait, am I going to need to use another rope? Did I mess that up? No, fine. And, uh, oh, whipped her instead of picked her up. I don't know why I keep doing that. Wow, there's a lot of arrow traps down there. Um, where did that fall? Oh, down below. Oh, I'm gonna need to use another rope to get that. Shoot. Um, will our damsel die when she drops down here? That's a good question. So we're gonna just send that down first. Um, Jetpack in our shop. I kinda wanna buy that, but that'd be like, we don't even have enough for it now. We're almost all out of ropes already. So, uh... I don't know. For these, uh... These earlier episodes, I might just try to go as far as I can, and then we'll try to do some, uh... Some runs where I try to get as much money as possible, because I tried occasionally when I was, uh... Just playing on my own when the game or I guess not the game, but when my device would not let me record, I, I did try to get as much gold as possible in some of the uh, the runs that I did. And one of the the first ones after 
the first episode that I recorded, I got like ninth on the leaderboard on one of my scores. And well, I mean that's not too big of a too big of a deal because not too many people have this game still. And um, it wasn't even that remarkable of a score. So gonna be going for much better, much better scores. And I can definitely beat them just by getting farther than uh, where I had gotten to before. Now there's a both an idol and an altar, which I I think is a, it's pretty nice. We could do some diamond mining. And, uh, since we have a jetpack, this makes it a lot easier to, to maneuver around. Oh, that guy, get away from me. Nope, actually come back. I wanna jump on your face. There we go. Let's throw him up there. Yeah, I'm glad we got this jetpack because we don't need to worry about ropes too much. Since we had used so many a little earlier. And I kind of want to... Um, I think we go for a bit of money. And the way I want to do that is I want to open up this padded cell, as I like to call it. Or as another YouTuber likes to call it, to be honest. So, um, make up ourselves some stairs, and then... Should we bomb? I'm gonna drop a bomb in here. And that guy should, um... Yeah, he already... Shot both of those uh, treasure chests he had in there with him. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I missed. Let's use one more. I missed again. I lied, I'm using another. Come on, guy. You know you want to die. Hmm. If I had a shotgun of my own, that'd make this so much easier. Come back! Oh, God damn it. Alright, well, we're going this way. But, uh, the ghost, whenever the ghost passes over a gem, it'll create a diamond, and those diamonds are worth a lot of money. That guy's stuck. Oh, no, he's not. So, um, if we, if we don't kill him, none of the other shopkeepers will be mad at us. But, uh, if we, if we kill him, then I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually, let's, um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to use our last rope. Oh, actually, this is kind of bad for the idol, for the altar, I should say. Um, I'm hoping that oh the ghost is here okay I was hoping that our, the, the boulder there would kill the shopkeeper but no luck so where is the ghost coming from from the left yeah from the left so we get over here and he'll turn all of those into diamonds and we'll we'll go up top and around to pick them up Recording's still going, that's good. Um, we'll totally ignore that emerald over there just because uh, it's backed up into a corner and kind of hard to get. But there we go, 35,000 right there. Oh, I did not see him. All right, get me out of here. That's, uh, it is so much nicer having this jetpack because the last time I tried. Oh wait, where's the other guy? Oh shit, that exit isn't over here. Where's the other uh, shopkeeper? Because that's that guy in there. Well, that's not the one we pissed off. Oh, he's over by the exit. This is not good. We might die here. Jump on him. Oh, no. Oh, we killed him. Get me out of here, you stupid spider. Oh, no, I didn't pick up the shotgun but, or the idol, but luckily we got out of there with our lives. I could have killed him and then try to get back out, but might have been a little risky. But it probably would have been the smart thing to do. So the I'm pretty sure the, the shopkeepers are going to be pissed off at us now. And there's going to be one waiting for us at the end of each level. What the hell happened to him? He just killed himself by teleporting to the wall. It's a little strange. I would love to get in there. I think we can. Yeah, we can get up there. But got to be careful of that arrow trap. Because that crate is something I really want. Get some some bombs primarily. Maybe an item or two. 
Oh, I guess we can go this way. Um, and we will let our damsel down right here so she doesn't take any damage. There we go. We got some bombs. And um, we're not doing as well on money as I thought we would be. We, um, that I thought we would be after getting the... Um, oh, set him. Trigger the air trap with this guy. Yeah, we're not doing as well in terms of money as I thought we would be. Oh, that one already got set off. Okay. Not doing as well for money as I thought we would be after picking up those diamonds. I don't want to really use any bombs at this point, though, because hardly have any. Um, that might be a good spot, though. Just two, emer two emeralds for... For a bomb, seems like a pretty good trade. Is there anything down here? Uh, no. Now, with paste, I think we can kill... I know we can kill the shopkeeper with one bomb. It's just going to be whether or not we can hit him with um, the two that we have. There we go, kill that snake. And hopefully the, the exit isn't like in a little crevice like it was before. Yeah, that's a little bit more open, so we might be able to, to stick him with a bomb from here. If we had, um, oh, that was bad. Oh, that might get him. Yep, there we go. So we're, we're out of bombs, but luckily that guy's, uh, that guy's none of our problems anymore. Does that even make any sense? That guy's not a problem anymore. I guess it does make sense. So 70,000 plus this little bit over here. And uh, we're going to have a shotgun. Oh, we got to get this stuff and get out of here. But we are going to have this shotgun to take with us, which should help us kill the next shopkeeper that we come across. And we are on to the... No, I don't want to, to give you any money. We're on to the, the jungle. And if we decide to go to the black market, then we're going to have a tough time in there because all of the shopkeepers will want to kill us. And we have no bombs. We don't have we don't even have a bomb to get into the black market. There's our damsel and an altar, so we will take her there and hopefully pick up something useful. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get a Matic from it, but if you can, I would love that. Because uh, occasionally, once you sacrifice stuff, you will get um, you'll get items as well as a, a Kapala, which is an item that lets you collect enemies' blood, like the blood that that guy um, just let out. You can pick that up, and that will refuel your health after you collect so much of it, which is a, it's a pretty nice item. And it definitely makes up for sacrificing a couple of damsels to to get it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look down here just to see where the exit is. It's not visible yet, and I haven't seen the Ujadai do any blinking. Oh, this guy's gonna be pissed off, isn't he? This guy in here, yeah, he's mad. I don't have any bombs, so I don't really know what's the best. What the best way of um, of doing this really is. It's, uh, it's a pretty bad layout for... This guy's gonna go crazy. Actually, both of them are gonna go crazy soon, yep. I say we just wait it out for a bit in case... Oh shit, he got out. I was gonna get into a better spot over there. Nah, that's too bad. But still, not a bad run. Not a bad try, and we're just gonna keep going. And hopefully, my PVR decides to, to to still work. And if it if it does cut out, then I I don't feel too bad about ending it here because I just died. But I kind of want to make these videos pretty long, just so. I mean, this game's this game's one that's uh, it's a bit hard to put down. So with that last run, had we had a couple more bombs, I think we might have been able to survive for quite a while. So I gotta be cautious with how many I use, and I gotta be a little bit better with that. 
It was really nice that we had a jetpack though. That helped us out quite a bit. And I, I've only gotten a jetpack maybe twice, or maybe one other time, besides that one. Let's see if we're gonna make this jump. Oh, I think we can actually. I, I should try that again, because I don't I don't mind burning a rope in this situation because I might have to just to get to the exit. Oh no, I don't, which is nice. But uh, there's also a crate in here, which contains some bombs. So we're above average, above the starting amount, in terms of bombs and ropes, and as of uh, the next level, health as well, which is uh, it's a pretty good first floor. We didn't get, actually we did get quite a bit of gold. And I think, since I have enough bombs, I'm just gonna to throw that down there. Well, actually, now I'm gonna need to use a rope too. Is that worth it? I mean, I've already committed, so yeah. Probably not worth it, but I don't mind. We're, we're still sitting pretty in terms of bombs and ropes. We do have an altar, as well as paste, which is going to be pretty useful. And uh, ooh, he's got a shotgun, so we could kill him if we wanted to. And we might also want to come back up here to use that altar. With uh, the run-in that we had before, we're not going to kill this guy. What's his name? Wait. I swear it said his name. Hmm. Maybe that only happens the first time you go in. Max. Good old Max. Where's our... I kind of want... I wouldn't mind using a couple more ropes to get back up to the altar if our damsel was um, in a good position. Because using a couple bombs and a couple of ropes might be a little much. But I will definitely use a bomb in this situation to get this, this crate. Oh, I forgot I had paste. I was trying to shoot it in there next to the right, the, right up next to the wall. Ooh, a matic. That's awesome. I was trying to put it. Oh, come on. I would do something that dumb. Yeah, I was trying to put the bomb right up next to the wall and kind of forgot we had paste. And I have no idea where our damsel is. Was she up above to the right? Or is she down here? She might have been back up top, maybe above the the shop. So we're just gonna leave. Cause don't really need it. It would be nice to sacrifice her, but I don't wanna waste too much time. The ghost could come. And kill this guy. And what do we have over here? I think our damsel? No, oh, I heard her somewhere. Ooh, we do have a pretty good place to um I'm gonna use no I don't, I'm not gonna use a, a rope there we have a machete which I had never picked up before apparently filled out an entry in our journal and uh, we do have a padded cell which I might want to use this time around just because it's so tempting I'm gonna throw this down here before I jump on him oh he's hurt so let's throw him that way and kill him perfect We are on the third level of the mines. I was thinking that if we were on the second level, it might not be such a good idea because that means that there'd be another shopkeeper on this floor. But we're gonna throw a couple of bombs in here. See, is that? That's probably the best. I could have maybe moved back a bit more, but we're gonna hope that this guy runs out and then lands on those spikes. So we're gonna throw that up there. And that up there. Yep. Did exactly like I had hoped. But the unfortunate thing... Well, actually, maybe we can move both over... Where can we put these? A better spot to, uh, to help trigger the ghost. Or that we can lure the ghost to would be, like, right around here. Oh, there... Wait, there is another shopkeeper on here? Yeah, there might be. 
which is not... that's not good. We do have a shotgun, which we can kill him with. So we might have to do that. He's gonna be down there to the right. But we have those gems. Well, that's actually gonna be hard to get to now. Maybe we can just go underneath. There we go. So that's where our, all of our, our goodies are for now. And hopefully we can trigger the ghost to come from this side. So we don't have to, uh, so we can get him coming from here. But that's still kind of hard to get back without risking death. You know, like this jump. I don't really like it. Sorry, I bought my mic. Um, the ghost is hopefully coming from the left. Yes, he is. So um, he might kill our damsel, but I don't really care. Just want the, the money. A little bit greedy. There we go. And um, we're gonna actually just go like this and down below. Oh, sorry about that. And pick up 70,000. But this is going to be a bit risky. Just run and make it in. There we go. I say that was pretty well done. And I don't like to boast very often. Um, I don't think the, uh, the shopkeepers are angry at us because I don't hear the music, which is a great sign. So we might be able to make this run last a bit. Oh, he is pissed. Okay, never mind. I guess um, the music only happens when, when the, uh, when we get close to him. But we're gonna throw. Oh, that didn't work. I kind of want to throw her to kill that spider because if we, if we let the spider drop, and we land on him, it'll definitely cause that, um, that powder keg to explode, and probably kill us. So I think we can jump from here and make it. There we go. And it is very important that we find out where this Ujadai is. And we could possibly avoid all that stuff, that shopkeeper, if we come down this way. See what's below us. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try it. Because if we don't have to, to kill the guy, then I won't do it, because otherwise it could be could be pretty dangerous. Oh, he's still pissed. I shouldn't have even gone over there. But yeah, we're gonna try to just come down this way. Run, don't kill me. Okay, thank you. I have no idea. That's probably the worst thing is not knowing where the the Ujedi the rest of the Ujedi is. Or where this guy decided to go. Oh, there he is. Oh, and there's the... Actually, I guess we can do this now. Wasn't really even thinking. Oh, there's a bunch of jerks over here. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to steal money. I guess it's not stealing. Is it stealing? I don't know. It's not the shopkeeper's money. What are they even doing down here? Ooh, that's a lucky find. And I say we just stay away from him. We don't have to kill him, but they'll they'll still be mad on future levels. I guess that's I'm, I'm fine with that. Just uh, escape with as much health as possible. There we go. Oh, and the the ghost is coming. Oh, there's gonna be... Oh, I totally forgot. I always overthink this, but there's gonna be... Oh, no, he killed himself. That is big. Because otherwise, that guy would have been in our way. So we will go. And we are getting close to my high score. I think it was about 128,000. And I'm not gonna give you 10,000 if I'm trying to get as much money as possible. Ton of man, why do you even need money? 
see if I can, does that kill him? It does, which is nice. And uh, there is a, an altar. Oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to, uh, well, I guess I can do it this way. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think I'll be able to get back up. Oh, come on, you, you jerk sapphire. Okay, don't kill me, thank you. And I'm gonna just not bother with that teleporter because if you if you mess up with that thing, you oh black market's here. Oh, it's right next to that tiki guy. But if you if you mess up with that teleporter, then you'll teleport into the wall and just die. So I don't want to mess that up. Oh, I hate that. You stick to the walls, and if something jumps up into you. It hurts you. And I'm gonna do something that I don't want to do. But I'm gonna use my Matic a whole bunch. Oh, Pitcher's Mitt, that's not really. Well, it's not too bad, but I don't even have that many bombs. But I'm gonna use a whole bunch of um, hits with the Matic to try to get this crate. I don't know why I threw it over here. Another pitcher's mitt. Wonderful. Oh, well, that was not smart. I don't know why I cut things so close. We can still get back without needing to use a rope. But once we go down here, we will need to use a rope. So, I don't want to go to the black market because they'll all be trying to kill me. Whereas, we just have one guy trying to kill me over here. And we have uh, the Pitcher's Mitt, so we might be able to stick him. And we did. Wonderful. So I guess uh, the Pitcher's Mitt, not too bad in that situation. Although I didn't really like getting two of them. And we do not need to use another hit of the Matic to get over here. Yo man, let me get a hit of that Matic. I think we can get we can get this as well. So I think we we definitely broke. Oh shit! Get me out of here. Wait, why did I? I don't need the shotgun. Gotta keep the matic. More money. I think we broke my high score though. Gotta see that on the leaderboards. Probably not nearly as good as with the dead or restless. We could get a free shotgun on this level, which actually might be perfect because this matic has to be getting close to its death and we trade that for a shotgun we could potentially oh it broke yep perfect timing but we could uh trade the matic for the shotgun and then deal with the the shopkeepers much more easily now dead or restless it uh it means that one there is a free shotgun on the level but it also means that there's a higher chance of the skeletons coming back to life there's a shotgun but a higher chance of the skeletons to come back to life when there are also more enemies like this uh, this vampire dude right there, or two of them. They'll try to, they'll start flying after me and they're really annoying. So we're gonna get the, the shotgun first. Cause they, they take forever to die if you're just like jumping on them or whipping them. And they, they're really, they move sporadically and it's just not fun dealing with those guys. So I think, I don't know if I can get him from here. Oh, I killed one of them. Maybe both of them. I can't tell. Yeah, that guy came back. Um, and one of them is alive. Just don't do that to Karina. Come on, dude. This is not cool. Just get up here. Fight me like... Stop being such a pussy. There you go. And we got a, a cape out of that as well. And we will take our shotgun as well as our damsel. But she's probably gonna... Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, we're getting rid of those. And we are going to, to throw her down there right next to it. Hopefully there's like no spikes over there. And we're gonna get our shotgun and we are gonna leave with 150,000. Which I, I really like. Oh, 
watch out for that, and watch out for this thing. There we go. We got more health, which I definitely needed. We might as well check out what's over here. Oh, some more money. Perfect. Picked that 154,000. So, new record, and we might, um, we might make it pretty far in this one as well, if we don't get killed by a shopkeeper. And I am so glad this recording has lasted how long? Half an hour. That's awesome. Um, where's this guy going? Just, you're just gonna go? Oh, fuck. I lost that health already. Hmm. I don't... I don't want to carry both that idol and the shotgun, so... I'll just leave it. And I like having this compass as well. Oh, that guy. Three bombs. Not enough to go for for that pet itself. Otherwise, I, I definitely would. We just need to be careful of this shopkeeper because he's just uh, our biggest threat at the moment. If I if I fire from this spot. I'll fall straight back in between these arrow traps and that would not be good so we're gonna go up here if this guy doesn't get in our way there we go and he he doesn't have anything that can really kill him besides that snail which isn't gonna I don't think one of those bubbles will will kill him I don't think it kills us as a character is he stuck in like an infinite loop right here I'm gonna put Hmm. Oh, nope, he's not. He dropped down. Okay, I'm gonna let him do his thing for a little bit because we didn't take too much time getting down here. Oh, to poor snail. We could let him go all the way to this side and then just try to make a run for it. But one hit with his shotgun will kill us. So we gotta be really careful. I don't even know, it's gonna be tough for him to get out of there. And he did it just fine. Ooh, those, that arrow trap, or tiki trap could really, I don't know if that would kill him, but it could do some damage. No, we're gonna need to put a bomb here just to get out of here. Oh, what hurt me? Did one of these rocks fucking come out of nowhere? I don't like that. But well, we're gonna go without our shotgun just because that guy could easily kill us. And we're gonna have to to think of oh get me away from that guy. Oh, I sacrificed something somehow. On accident. That's nice. Um yeah, we're gonna be dead in any minute. I can feel it coming, but we need some way to kill him. from a distance with, I don't know, this boomerang. I don't feel like it's gonna do much. Oh, he landed on the spikes. Even if he lands on the spikes, he still explodes. I find that a little bit strange. Ooh, there's a crate. I'm thinking about going like this. Get me out of here. There we go. Cause just dropping down and falling might've been a, a pretty bad position to be in with both of those. Wow, there's so many frogs. With both of those bats trying to get at me. Oh fuck, I messed that up. I guess we can grab this one now. I guess you can't be pressing square. Oh, hurry up and kill him. You can't be pressing square while trying to catch the boomerang, apparently. So where was this altar at? Because we sacrificed something, like something, oh, it's up there, that. There was a Tiki guy, Tiki man, who got hit by the Tiki trap. And then his, uh, his stunned body. Oh, shit, I forgot about him. I always do. Uh, we have paste. I just, I'm not used to, I don't know, like, what's going to be enough of a... Like, what's a good angle to try to stick him? Oh, we have that. We have that. So we can't 
I don't think we can stick him from here. We'd have to use two bombs, unless that... Oh, he's not. Okay, we'll, we'll use two, just so we're... Oh shit, we'll use three, apparently, because I'm not very smart. And then we'll... We'll throw that. There we go. Oh, that was... What a... Th perfect, uh... Perfect gold. Oh, I didn't realize that there were two of them there. But we're gonna... Kill both of them. And pick up the shotgun and get out of here. So are we on to the ice caves? If we are, that might be... Yeah, we are. Might be the farthest I've ever gotten on the PS3. Which, it's not really too far. I've just been trying to do too many different things rather than just try to beat the game. Oh. The shotgun... Oh, the shopkeeper's on the... Man, I don't have spike shoes. I don't like sliding around like this. But uh, the shopkeepers on the ice caves can just fall right off the edge, which is probably what that one did. So I think we just float down and just try to... Oh, we should have... I don't know why I didn't do that or why I didn't think of doing that. But... um. I'm talking about getting the damsel. So we will waste two ropes to uh, to get more health, which I, I think that's worth it. And we could spend some more time getting some more money, but I, at this point, oh, that's kind of a bad spot. I think, um, did I throw something down there that exploded? Maybe. Probably. I don't remember what it was. I don't think I threw a bomb because I have zero. But I guess we will use another one so we can safely get the damsel to the exit. And then get our shotgun. And then we can leave. And my, my screen is falling asleep, which is annoying me. I don't want anything to go wrong with this recording because we're doing good, finally. And we can safely make it to the, to the exit. So... Seven, seven, I almost said 17,000, but no, we're at 172,000. With two health, finally. And I think we can get something. Ooh, more money. I think we can get something from the enemy that resides on it smells like wet fur levels. We just have to be careful about this stupid alien. And hopefully... Oh, we have to wait for this guy to, to come down here. Oh, the alien above us knows what's up. Oh, I can't hurt this guy, can I? So we'll just leave. And that was so lucky. Oh my god, we have one health left. Go, 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 go. Okay, somehow I got out of there. And uh, I think you need spike shoes in order to kill that big yeti and there's no place for this guy to go actually you know what we're gonna break all of these I guess two of these in hopes that he'll um, be able to jump out and um, land on these spikes over here I don't really have any other options because no bombs. I guess I could try to... I mean, that's kind of risky. It's, I was thinking about stunning him with that rock, but that didn't work. So what can we do? I think that is too high for him to get out. See, that's the highest he can jump. Oh, he's stunned. Let's just go. What? No! How did that happen? No. No. God damn it. Well, we had 69 kills, which I think that makes everything a success. So, unfortunately, we died there. We weren't doing too bad. I don't know if the leaderboard will update this quickly. No, it didn't. But, um, who's at the top? Ice the one. That's a pretty good score. Um, yeah. That was uh that was close. We were cutting it pretty close for that entire run. But uh 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. And um, we'll probably check the leaderboards in the next one as well, just to see where that score places me. So thank you all for watching again. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. As soon as I wake up, say, I'm gonna change my ways. Cause the music's my savior.